All right, hello guys. So I'm going to show you how to use the PIR sensor. So first thing to get it coded is you got to include the Smart Inventor dot H. Also, just type that out. Next, we're going to choose which pin it's going to be connected to. So we're going to use pin 27. Next, we're going to create um, a container that's a boolean. So to do that, you write bool, and then you write its name. And this can either be a zero or a one. So these are nice because they're very small and it literally just contain, it's a bit, literally a bit, like it contains zero or one. So we're going to use that to indicate whether, you know, is somebody present or is somebody not present. This whole program is basically going to detect if there's a human body in front of it or any living heated uh, person or creature or whatever. So next we're going to initiate the baud rate at 9,600. Next, we're going to set up our pin, which is our PIR pin, as an input because since it's a sensor, it's detecting stuff from the outside and it's going to receive a, a signal. So next, we're going to go into the loop. And this is where we're going to use our Boolean that we created up here. We're going to use it as a container for whatever state the PIR pin, which is pin 27, is at. So the sensor on the out uh, pin <clears throat> is connected to the PIR pin, which is pin 27. And so digital read, what it does is that it goes to this pin and it detects on it if there's a voltage of either 0 volt or 5 volts. So if it's 0 volts, it'll be, uh, the bool will turn 0. If it's high, it'll be on. So basically it's a switch. It can either be on or off. That's all it's doing, digital read part. Next, we're going to do the if statement. So we're going to do if body present. So if body present is one, this will be true. So if one, basically, and it'll be true. So it'll do whatever is in here. If it's not true, if body present equals zero, this thing right here, if, and then it has a zero, it will be false. So it pretty much will just not do this internal part. So it's important to recognize that a Boolean can either be true or false, which in which zero is the false part and true is the one part. So that's why I like using these bools. So anyways, and once we have body present, so it's true, we're going to serial print that we detected a body and we're going to make the buzzer buzz. So it's kind of like a little uh, intruder alert. So next we're going to create the if else thing. So else we're going to print out no movement detected. And there you go, that's all the code you gotta use. So let's actually upload it now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna upload the program. So we're gonna go to tools and check that it's on this uh, Smart Inventor version two board. Uh, make sure you're on the right port. And now we're gonna click upload. So it's uploading. Make sure you have dip switch one on, by the way, or else it won't do anything. So once it's uploaded, keep your USB cable still connected to the Smart Inventor board and turn off switch one, dip switch one. So the program's running right now. So I, right now, if I put my hand in front of the PIR sensor, it should buzz. You should be able to hear it. So it goes off. And it has a, a delay. So the way the circuit works internally is that those potentiometers, little like yellow knobs, they're um, variable resistors. So you can move the knob to increase the time duration or the sensitivity. So what it does is that pretty much once it detects like my hand right now, I've removed it, but it's still buzzing. So what's happening is that the internal circuit, it kind of like fires off like a pulse that is of a certain time so if you turn one of the knobs on the potentiometers, you can either make that time longer or shorter. And that's pretty much it. Um, actually, I forgot, zero monitor. <laughs> so right here, see right now it's not detecting anything. Put my hand in front of it, saying there's a body detected. So you can make a little security alarm, basically, just with this little sensor. So there you go.